Hello, I'm Roger and welcome to 100 Days of Network Automation. So I am a Net DevOps engineer based in the UK. I've been doing network automation now for uh, good on 10 years and I've got a ton of information in my head which I would like to share with you. So I'm going to do 100 videos in the next 100 days and call the series 100 Days of Network Automation. So we're going to go through the basics, um, what network automation is, go through some tools, uh, dig deeper into some of those tools. I'm going to introduce you to some tools you may have never heard of, um, some new tools that come along. And by the end of it, uh, there should be a fantastic resource that you could reference to look at automation and you could point someone in your team, if someone then wants to learn the basics of network automation, and they could start to get an idea of the broad landscape. Because uh, let's face it, the, the net network automation landscape is very vast and it's just getting more and more complex as more tools come onto the market, more ways of doing things, and we need to find a standard way to do a lot of this stuff. So I've got a plan here. Uh, this is my rough plan. Now, as I've done, this is actually the third iteration of my plan for doing this. Things keep popping into my head. Things keep changing. So day one is going to be an introduction. That's today. That's the video you're watching. So I would suggest uh, that if you are interested in this, to hit that subscribe button and then you will see every time I post a new video and you can keep on top of that. Tomorrow is gonna to be network automation tools. So I'm gonna go through the common tools used, Ansible, Python, Netbox. Um, so just to name a few, um, just to get an overview of the, the most common tools that we're using. And then I'm gonna do a whole section on Ansible. So an introduction, go through the basic inventory, host files, writing a playbook, some ginger templates, a bit on dynamic inventories, and then a little mini project. And then I'm going to do another eight days on Python. So an introduction to that. And another one has just popped into my head that I don't have uh, VS Code in here. So I need to add another day to cover VS Code because that is very important. Then we're going to do um, something that most people don't dig into, which is really important, and that is Git. Um, version control, so we're going to do a, a, a reasonable section on Git. Then Netbox, so if you've not heard of Netbox, Netbox is a, a source of truth, an inventory system, an IPAM, it's free, um, it's amazing. So we're going to do a big chunk on Netbox. And then AWX, a tool which uh, I use every day. So this is the front-end uh, GUI version, not version, that's the wrong word. It's the front end for Ansible. Um, it provides you with an API, it provides security and logging so you can run playbooks uh, from a secure controlled way. And it's the uh, open source upstream version of the Red Hat automation platform amongst other things. Uh, Nornia, if you've not heard of that, that is a Python automation framework. Uh, Nornia is really good. Um, you need some Python knowledge to run Nornia, uh, but once you get that and you get Nornia running, that is a fantastic tool. And then we're up to day 50 here. I'm going to do some network testing. So we're going to touch on things like PyATS and Batfish and a tool called Suzy Q. And then I've got a for a few days here on InfraHub. So if you've not heard of Netbox, you will not have heard of InfraHub. Um, so InfraHub is the new network source of truth on the block. Um, it's been written from the ground up and is promising to have um, an unlimited schema, complete control of your database schema so you can build the actual source of truth that you want. Uh, this is a, a great concept, but it does require some sort of knowledge and understanding of what you want out of a source of truth. So it's not for beginners, but uh, it, it, I'll be touching on that. Well, there's a, a good few days in here. And then I'm up to day 60. Now, there are, the plan for this is that as I start going through this, I'm going to get more ideas and I'm going to keep adding and adding and adding things that come in my head. 
So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to populate another 30 days in here. And this is where you come in, because what I want is for you to drop in the comments what you'd like to see in here. So if there's a, a topic, something that you think would be good, if you know of a tool um, that I've not mentioned here. So if you know a little a free, mainly open source is what I'm looking at, little network automation tool, drop it in the comments. I'll have a look. And then if I think it's worthy, I'm going to drop it in here and we'll add it. We'll do a day on it. And if it's really good, you know, we'll do a couple days. So please, please, if you've got something to say on this, this is going to be a community driven thing. I'm not looking to make any money from this. This is just me trying to unload my brain into a series of videos and just spread some knowledge. So that's the plan. Um, if you think that sounds great um, and you'd like to be involved, then please, one, hit the subscribe button and then two, drop a comment and just add in a suggestion. You know, anything you like. If you know a tool, please drop it in. So this is day one. We're going to get started in earnest after this video. So I'm straight into the next video after I record this one. And I'm going to be right into uh, the next one, which is network automation tools. So that's what I'm going to be running through. Uh, where are we? So that's the next video. And then we're going to be right into Ansible. So I hope this sounds interesting to you and if it does hit subscribe and i'll see you in the day two video take care have a great day